Hey guys, Biscuit again, and today we are going to be taking a look at the HGUC 1144th scale Zagok. The Zagok is a amphibious mobile suit from the series Mobile Suit Gundam, uh, and yeah, I don't really know what else there is to say about that. If you saw my previous review, you would know that the GOG is actually a j basically a glorified prototype to this thing. So yeah, let's get right on into the aesthetics of this guy. So, overall, uh, the actual proportions of the Zagok, sorry bud, <laughs> the actual proportions of the Zagok is not too bad. I actually, uh, really like it compared to really any other model kit on the market, which I think there's only this and the Master Grade, uh, so not too much to go off of, um, unfortunately, but yeah, uh, as for stickers you get, you only get two, you get... Uh, one right here for the cockpit. However, uh, I learned recently that you can actually just use it as straight up masking tape, which is what I did. Paint, uh, I painted this part silver, put it over, and painted the rest green. Uh, the final sticker you get is right there for the mono eye. Uh, other than that, this thing is actually completely color accurate, which is pretty cool. Um, there are two guys of this available on the market. You have the Shars one and the standard Zagok. Uh, I actually got the Shars one, but I painted it to be the green one you see in Gundam Unicorn. So yeah, that's really it for the aesthetics. Um, oh yeah, all of these little like numberings you see here, the warnings, you don't actually get them with this kit. Um, that that might have been pretty obvious, but just in case, you don't get those, I put them on. Uh, yeah, let's move on to the articulation. And as always, we're going to be starting from the head down. Uh, nothing moves at the head, not even the mono eye. However, this was a kit from 1999, so that is to be expected. Uh, coming to the back, these thruster things can rotate ever so slightly. But that's just because they are attached by a peg. And ooh, yeah, that doesn't look too good. Might need to do something about that. Uh, the arms are on ball joints, so they will rotate around. Each of these segments uh, are also on ball joints, so you can get some pretty flex-out motion uh, in all directions. You have a single-jointed bend right here at the elbow for uh, about 45 degrees. Uh, this part can actually swivel, but the paint kind of solidified it in one spot, so I'm not even going to try. And each of the claws are individually articulated and will all open up about that far, which is pretty cool. Uh, you have two ball joints at the waist connected by this bit of middle section, so it can crunch back really nicely and go forward also really nicely. Uh, can also swivel all the way around. Uh, the legs are on ball joints, so they can, ooh, they're a little tight. I didn't paint the ball joints on these but they are a little tight to move around, so you will want to be careful with that. But it can basically move all the way around, uh, so long as you steer clear of the diaper that it has. Okay, we're going to leave that to the side. Um, actually, no, we're going to set this to the side. The leg has a bend, which is 90 degrees. It can also swivel around. And the feet uh, are on a ball joint, so they can go up that far, go back that far. And we'll even get you some decent pivoting. So yeah, that's all for the articulation. Uh, pretty good for something from 1999. Uh, yeah, that's uh, really it. Um, not much more I have to say about this kit. It's actually pretty nice for what it is. Uh, great army builder as well, especially for the price being about $10, depending on where you get them. Uh, yeah, this thing is actually quite solid and quite nice to pose. Um, thank you for watching this video. It was kind of short, but I mean, whatever. Um, stay tuned for next video, I guess. Uh, bye.